Hi everybody, good morning and welcome to today's video. Um, we are back at it again. We are gonna go for another outdoor ride back at, uh, we're heading over to River Road again to do more gravel riding. Uh, conditions today, uh, it's gonna be pretty much cloudy the entire day and uh, wind gusts up to 27 miles an hour. Uh, of course, riding out would be a headwind and riding back will have a tailwind. So that's always a plus. And yeah, we're gonna head over to River Road in New Milford. Same route that we're going to take uh, as last time, except this time we're gonna do it right because we're actually gonna go down a um, downhill portion dirt road that's what I remembered it to be pretty steep um, and I want to try to go down that because we missed it last time because the route didn't properly load on my onto the Wahoo so hopefully fingers crossed nothing no mishaps today like uh, last week um, I know last week I had to stop a couple of times to adjust my saddle height um, my handlebar was crooked um, the Wahoo would load and then we ran out of battery um, on the camera and also I did not get a chance to charge the uh, external microphone so hopefully all of that gets squared away and uh, you could probably see a little bit of sun hitting my face so hopefully we get some of this sun while we're riding um, otherwise it'll just be uh, a cloudy gloomy, windy ride, but can't complain because at least we get to ride outside. All right, see you guys there. Well, we'll see what the conditions of the, uh, the roads are like after the rain. It looks like it hasn't quite, yeah, it hasn't quite dried up yet. Morning. I forgot to start the ride. <laughs> yeah. Car. Oh, never mind. I thought I heard him, but I didn't. I thought I heard a humming before after we passed those ladies and then I didn't see anything. Clear in the rear. Sorry, thoughts again. Thank you. Well, when we get to Scattercook, I'm thinking loading the route there because I was successful loading the long route last week. Oh, we were stopped there. Yeah, that's true. Bumps. So it seems as though the the road is pretty 
hard pack when with rain. Yeah, it's not it's not as loose as compared to last week. At least it's not muddy. It's just kind of damp. Yeah, it's not like it's not actually muddy. So this is the hotel. I don't think it's actually a hotel. It's just a historic. Well, it said Merwinsville Hotel Restoration. So maybe it like used to be a hotel and like it's probably not operational anymore. But it's, it's almost like a museum kind of thing. I'm guessing. So what tire pressure are you running? Uh, about 40. A little less than that in the front. there. Clear. Uh, stop up here some more. Yeah, come on, yeah. So, everything seemed to work out with the bike and with the camera. I'm hoping that the wind noise is a little bit more muffled now because we have this uh, wind slayer high density foam that covers the Osmo action so hopefully it muffles out that all that wind and you can actually hear the audio. We're just here for our first refueling and uh, notice uh, that the route isn't loading onto my Wahoo again. So um, I did do an update on the Wahoo and it is a, the original Wahoo element so I don't know if it's because it doesn't have any more um, internal storage and I don't know how to fix that, but um, it's not loading. And so uh, even the long route isn't loading. Luckily, Jason's Wahoo <clears throat> is able to load the route. So we'll just follow his. And I sort of remember um, the way back uh, based on last week's ride. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about my bike setup which is similar to Jason's. We both have the same bike which is the Lauf Anywhere gravel bike. Uh, that's his. This is mine. Obviously different sizes and one thing that I really like about it is the electronic shifting. It's got the SRAM rival on there and it is a one by setup. It's got the 42 tooth chainring in the front which you can't see because my bike is on the other side and it's 1044 tooth cassette in the back and this is going to be the setup uh well actually we're going to change a few things but we are going to be doing a bike packing trip this summer uh we're just going to do around the perimeter of connecticut and some of these roads are going to be familiar because we're going to use these roads to ride parts of it um but this will be the bike that we will take with us on our bike packing trip except for the chain ring we are going to swap out to a 38 tooth chain ring because we'll just it'll just be a heavier bike with everything loaded and extra water and all that 
but uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one. Hopefully we can do that around end of June, June 25th, I believe is what we're starting off. And uh, it'll be a four to five day uh, bike packing trip along the perimeter of Connecticut. or something or anything like that yeah I don't think they're like trails you know right and there's I don't I think it's they do something to it to make it hard pack because people live in like there's some homes around here so They probably make it so that people can get around using this road without a problem. This is one way to camp, honey. We're not completely out of into a civilization, you know? Right. For the dogs? Have you been camping as a kid? Um, I think we went once and if I remember correctly, I got sick for some reason. I was like throwing up. And so it was kind of not a, oh, and then it was like raining. It was like pouring rain. Oh. So we were like stuck inside the tent the whole time. So it wasn't really much fun. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, you know, the thing with staying in a tent is you're bound to encounter some sort of wild animal at night. Yeah, I don't remember having issues with that. But it was just a, uh, I think the weather was pretty crappy. Yeah. It just wasn't a good experience. So that could be why I'm bias against camping. Sometimes you have these experiences when you're little and it sticks with you.
So we're 22 and a half miles into the ride. Oh, I wanted to mention to you guys, one of the things that I had done with the bike um, is apply. We, I did have a wet lube applied to this, uh, the chain. Um, I recently purchased the Silka uh, chain wax chain lube and didn't do a hot melt wax on this one. On the road bikes, I did do the hot melt wax for process and it is a process so that's why I didn't do it with this. Instead what I did was I cleaned it really well last week after our ride and then uh, just applied the chain the wax chain lube and it's holding up pretty good. Um, I don't know if you could see it's still uh, pretty clean it looks like it so when I rub my hand you could see a little bit of dirt on there but overall um, because it's been pretty dirty uh, pretty dusty uh, also the great thing about it is it also doesn't acquire a whole ton a lot of of dirt on the drivetrain on the cassette um, which I like because it's less for me to clean and uh, just less to maintain. I just have to wipe it down with a dry rag. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm starting to get hungry. I'm gonna eat uh, and take a nature break. Uh, and then hopefully um, we, I can get some footage of that act that downhill that I was telling you about that I never got to, we never got to go down on. So hopefully I'll get some footage of that. Uh, so we're, uh, I don't know, about halfway into our ride. Um, it's a good, good solid ride so far. The weather is not quite as nice as it was last week, last time we did this ride, I don't think, um, or at least it feels colder. Um, it's Last time it was sunny, today it's cloudy, and I think it's probably more windy today. Um, the condition of the dirt roads is still pretty good. They're a little bit, they're more damp, um, due to the rain last night. Last week was kind of dry and dusty, so um, I think th it might have been a little faster conditions last week, um, but overall the roads are okay. Um, it's kind of just hard packed, damp um, dirt. It's not muddy or anything. So still having fun. Glad to, uh, to be outside today. And uh, Looking forward to the rest of this ride, although um, Joy seems to be real excited about this uh, this steep, rocky downhill section that uh, we didn't get to do last time. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really miss it last time. Um, not not looking forward to that as much as, as she probably is, but uh, if it's too technical for me, I'm just going to get off and, and walk it. But uh, we'll see how that goes. So before we hit that steep paved uphill up to the Mar Marblewood School, we don't ride up that hill. We make a left turn. Well, on the bright side, at least we don't have to do that steep hill. Well, I have my uh, full, my open my half finger gloves on just so that my hands are kind of cold right now now so, so but i want to have full like yeah full uh control of the, the brakes i need to be able to feel the levers Is it this one on the left here? No. Oh, it's not, it's not yet. Okay, it's going around here. Oh, yeah, I, I, we're not there yet.
Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming off on the left. I'm gonna let you go first because I might be walking it. Yeah. Front brakes a little too hard. And then don't forget to lean back. You get a really good track. You get a really good control when you lean back. Okay. Um. Just go really, really slow. Probably this one is. I know my hands are like my my wrist. How did you? Well, it wasn't as rocky as I thought it was. Yeah. It was just like pebbly. Yeah, it was pretty loose and steep. Yeah, it was kind of slippery a few times, but I was like when it got steep, I was like so leaning back so low, yeah. like my butt was right. Like, off the saddle back here. Yeah. I was pretty much like <laughs> straight arms. Yeah. Like really getting my weight back. Like you really could use a dropper post there. Yeah. Because it's so steep. But yeah, you got through it. Yeah. Good job, honey. Okay, that yeah. Because that's that same, I think that's that Jeep road that they're talking about. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to check back to see how steep that, that, that really is because wouldn't that be funny if you tried to climb it <laughs> like wouldn't you be that crazy person who tries to climb that thing we need a mountain bike to climb that I don't yeah think, i don't think we have well i mean you could do it on this bike but i think we need a bigger percent yeah um obviously we have to figure out maybe what i'll just do is study this footage just so that you know Woo! Uh oh you got a flat uh oh hold on you're sealing hold on it's sealing hold on oh how did that happen where is that coming from you're spewing out 
Just stop, just stop. Come on, see you, buddy. Come on. Look, get off. No. To earn the name. Here it comes. Two flips, two twists. Never been done in competition. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Come on. There it is. It's sealed. Oh, I wonder if that's why I was... That's what I was feeling. Yeah, you might want to add a little bit more air. Two hours later. So, unfortunately, Jason wound up getting a, a snake bite from all these jagged rocks that we came down on. He wound up getting a puncture on his rear tire here and luckily I think the sealant does it did it did its job first time with tubeless setup here and I think it worked well ah, I got a bug in my eye I don't know how big that puncture is oops uh, hopefully we can get a good seal on this he's pumping it back up again because a little bit of air did leak through so ugh, we'll see yeah all right why did you hear something like when you were going downhill
Well guys, we just finished our ride and uh, yeah, it ended up being a, another fun one and um, started to feel like it was warming up toward the end of the ride, the last hour or so. And now of course the sun comes out now that we're finishing the ride. But we, uh, we finished it with a bang on uh, River Road, coming back to the car. There's a, a Strava segment on River Road called River Road TT. And we uh, we got a PR on that one. Um, it it feels it's it's really fun to to be able to go fast on that road. And we've we've ridden on River Road as kind of a a pass through on several of our road bike routes, and always had to kind of go slow um, because you know I felt like either I was going to get a flat or you know I didn't have didn't have good control of the bike or just was uncomfortable. Um, but with these bikes, it's you know quite doable to to ride at a good pace um, over that dirt. So that was real fun. The um, that steep uh, downhill section that that Joy was uh, talking about earlier that ended up not being as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I, I I thought it was it was rockier uh, than than what it was. It was really just a bunch of loose. You know, small rocks, pebbles. Um, so made it down that one without really a problem. Um, unfortunately, once we got to the bottom of that, you know, I, I had a puncture in uh, my rear tire, and not sure if that came from that downhill or if it was uh, from the road that we were riding on after the downhill. But in any event, the uh, the sealant in the uh, in the tire seemed to to do the job. Um, it took it a little while to have to fully seal. Um, just had to kind of keep spinning it and, and riding around on it for a little bit. But um, you know, it 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 did the job and uh, just pumped a little more air into it, and we're able to finish the ride normally, which was great. Um, the process for. Um, for getting back on the road after that that puncture was uh seemed quite a bit easier than than changing a t an inner tube um anyway that was uh that was a fun ride and uh let me get you some numbers for what it what it ended up being um so it was about 44 miles the uh the elevation i think was honey do you know what the elevation was it's saying 2,500. Okay, it's saying 2,500 feet, which I thought it would be more than that. Maybe it'll adjust a little bit, um, you know, when we uh, put it on Strava. But finished it in a little over three hours, like 14 miles an hour, which is faster than we did this, this route the last time. Um, so happy with that, pretty happy with that speed considering we did that downhill, we slowed down a lot and got downhill. Yeah, so the that steep downhill that we did um, was, so in comparison, our, our ride last week, we didn't go downhill on that road, we went down on Skiff Mountain Road, which is a, a paved road, and we were able to go a lot faster down Skiff Mountain than we went down that road, down the one that we went today. So we actually lost probably a little bit of time on that downhill. So uh, considering that, you know, we overall for the rest of the ride, we were going faster. So um, definitely pleased with, with how it turned out. Anything uh, you wanted to say, honey? Uh, no, All right. Well, uh, we hope that you enjoy watching this, this ride and this, this video and uh, hope you're all, uh, getting out there for your own rides and, and doing well out there and um, and having fun. And All right. don't forget to, where's your pump? And don't forget to enjoy the ride. Check this out. Oh yeah, I forgot, forgot that has it. This pump is Silka, is by Silka and it's the Tatico hand pump. We swapped it over from for the uh, we had a pro bike tool pump um, which I didn't really care for so we swapped it out to the Silka a lot better and they had us they custom 
put the uh, engraving in there. Enjoy the ride. So awesome. All right. Until next time, guys, don't forget to enjoy your rides. Bye-bye.